Welcome back to Pymol Biomolecules. In this video series, we are going to see how to perform protein ligand complex molecular dynamics in the Windows operating system. In the previous part, we have seen up to energy minimization. In this part, we are going to see the next steps. Okay. So in this step, I am going to create an index file which contains the ligand atoms only. So for that, give this command gmx make ndx dash f 2 ep dot grow dash o index 2 ep dot ndx so we are going to make the index file for the ligand atoms only so for that give this command and give enter and you can see it is asking to select the group so i am going to select 0 0 and not of ah star ok select only non hydrogen atoms in the ligand ok so give enter and give q for quit so we have created a group ok you can see the index 2 ep dot ndx file is created next give this command gmx gen str dash f 2 ep dot grow dash n index 2 ep dot ndx that we have created in the previous step dash o this is the output file that we are going to generate position restraint file for the ligand ok that is the post 3 2 ep dot itp ok give enter and uh, we have to select the group number 3 because we have created this group in the previous step so give group number 3 and give enter and you can see the file will be created so this is the post 3 2 ep dot itp this is the position restraint for the ligand atoms next we are going to add this position restraint file in the topology file so open the topology file and add below the ligand topology so this is the ligand topology so so give these lines this is the ligand position restraints ash include post 3 2 ep dot itp and enclose in the double quotes otherwise you will get some error so that's all save this file and next we are going to make an index file which contains the protein and ligand ok for that go to the command prompt and give this command gmx make ndx dash of em dot grow file this is the latest grow file and dash o index dot ndx ok you can name this file as uh, whatever you want so give enter so we need protein and ligand so select number one and and 13 ok so i am going to give 1 bar 13 so the two groups are merged the protein and 2 ep so that mean, which means the protein and ligand groups are merged ok and it will be created in the index.ndx file so i am going to quit this so enter q and press enter so that's all you can see the index.ndx file is created next go to the md tutorials web page in the step 6 equilibration scroll down you can see there is a mdb file for the nvt equilibration so download this mdb also so i'm going to just copy this and i'm going to make a new file here nvt.mdp So save this file and go to the next step in this web page and download this MDP also. So I am going to copy this. So save this file also. So now we have the two MDB files. You can do whatever changes inside these MDB files. So I have already made a video on how to edit these MDB files. Okay. So if you need, if you want, you can check that out. So next, check the nvt.mdb file. So you can see in the temperature coupling groups, you can see the protein JZ4 is one group and water ions, water and ions is the another group but we don't have protein jz4 in our index.ndx ok so open the index.ndx mm -hmm. 
you can see the protein 2EP only this group is there because our ligand name is 2EP ok so update the nvt.mdp file give protein 2EP and water and ions ok and water and ions this group is also present in the index.ndx file you can see the water and ions this group is also present in the index.ndx so the groups in the index.ndx is very important ok so save the nvt.mdp file so the temperature coupling will happen between these two groups ok so open the command prompt and give this command gmx grow mpp dash f nvt.mdp dash c em dot grow dash or em dot grow and update the topology file and this is our index file and we are going to generate the nvt dot tpr binary file ok so give enter now you can see the tpr file will be generated so this is the nvt dot tpr so in the next command you all know that is gmx md run command ok extra i am going to give dash v that is for verbose ok which means the output will be shown in the command window itself ok like this like this the interactive output will be shown in the command window itself so the nvt step is running you can see the nvt files are being generated nvt.edr, xtz and log files so this will complete in 15 minutes now you can see the steps is completed ok the nvt files are generated successfully nvt.cpt, edr and grow file also the log file xtc and it that's all ok next is start the npt step ok so give this command gmx grow mpp dash f npt.mdp dash c nvt.grow file that we have generated in the previous step and the checkpoint file and the grow file and we have to update the topology file and we are passing the index file and we are going to generate the output tpr file ok so we have to take a look on the npt.mdp so you can see here we have to update the temperature coupling groups also just like here ok and uh, probably we have to change the pressure coupling method also we can see that later so I am going to save this file and we can start this command you can see there is a warning ok so we have to change it to parinello ragman barostat ok so this is what i am talking about so change this into parinello ragman ok so save this file so and rerun the same command you can see the tpr file will be generated this is the npt.tpr and the next as you all know give this command gmx md run dash v defenum npt ok give enter so the dash v is who used for verbose and it will finish in so i am going to wait i will come after few minutes ok as you can see the npt equilibration is completed in the folder you can see the respective npt files are created 
that is the checkpoint file edr grow file log file xtc file okay so that's all npt equilibration is completed so next step is the production md run okay so see you in the next part thank you